Today we're going to look at a coding solution, and this one's from the 2013 free response exam, and it's question one, music downloads. So first of all, I want you guys to go to my course website, and we're going to go and download the PDF. So it's the 2013 PDF, and then we're going to look at question one, so you've got to download this music.zip. All right, so once you've got those two files, should have something that looks like this. So here's the 2013 PDF. We're going to do question one. So what I want you guys to do is read through this question carefully and make sure you understand it. I know this question is uh, particularly dense with information, so they actually put a lot of detail in this. Um, there's actually quite a bit to read. But you'll find that the solution to this is actually pretty straightforward. So don't be too intimidated by all the information they put in this question. All right, so we're going to do part A. Um, so let's take a look. We have to write this get download info. So basically, we have a, an array list full of these download info objects. And what we have to do is loop across this, and whatever name they give us in the parameter of get download info, we have to match that up. And you know, if they have a match in there, then we just return that particular object reference. However, if there's no match, then it returns null. All right, so that's the, the rundown. So let's go ahead and solve it. So here I've got my BlueJ project file. So I've opened up the music downloads file, uh, file right here. And let's go ahead and do part A. All right, so the first thing we have to do is pretty much loop across that array list. So we've got this array list right here. It's called download list. So let me go ahead and loop across it with a for each loop. So for and download info. So there's download info objects in that array list. And I guess I'll just call it item and it is a download list. All right, so I'm looping across that array list which contains download info objects. So the next step is I just gotta pull out um, the name of each object. So whatever name is given to the song in that particular object, you just have to pull that out. So I guess I'll make a variable here, string name, and then I just run item dot. Um, so let me just go back to this download info class. And I see that I do have this method here called get title. So I'm going to run that on the download info object, and that will give me the title of that particular song. So I just run get title. All right, so once I have the information, what I need to do is compare it to this parameter title and see if there's a match. So that's pretty easy. I just do that with a conditional. So if title dot equals name. Right, so if there's a match, then I need to return the object reference. So in this case, we just called it item. So I just returned item. Right? It's a download info object that I need to return, and obviously that's what it is. So I recall from the question, if we get through this entire array list and we did not have a match, then we need to return null. Right? So maybe you're a little unsure about what null is. I like to think of it as kind of a zero for objects. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and compile and see if this works. So let me run this test. Okay, so I believe that um, in the question, we do get equal 10 and we do get a null, so I think that's right. Go ahead and just run the test bench here. Okay, yeah, I recall that you know test five and test 10 um, have to do with part B, so everything else looks fine. Okay, so part B involves this update download, so let's go ahead and see what's going on there. So with part B, we have to write the update downloads. So in this one, you know, we get a, a list of song titles. So they, we bring in an array list as a parameter. And we have to go through every single title in that array list, and we have to go ahead and update the download list. So if the song, um, okay, so here's our original uh, array list. And, you know, say we bring in this, uh, this new array list full of song titles that has these ones. So, you know, if, this particular name does not exist in this array list, and we have to add it in. Uh, and it has it automatically sets it to a download value of one. 
However, if it's already in there, then we, you know, we have to match it up and just increment the download count. So we need to figure out if it's in there. Yeah, if it's in there, we increment the count. If it's not in there, we have to put it in and then um, it already gets incremented to one. So at the end of this, you know, we get this new array list with all these values and you can go through and just, you know, check this on your own. Okay, so what we need to do is go back to the code and we need to loop through this array of titles. So let me do it with a for each loop. So for string uh, name and titles, So when I was looking at this question, I was thinking, okay, well, I got to loop across that array list and match that up. But now, you know, you, you think about, oh, wait a minute, we kind of already did that in part A. <laughs> so I can just give it a title and it will return to me the download info object, which is kind of what I want to do. So I can just run that. I don't need to rewrite the code, right? This code up there already performs that action. So download info, um, I think I'll call it song. And then I just run that particular method. So I just need to write the name. It is get download info. And I just need to give it you know, that uh, argument name. Okay, so basically we give it the name. It'll you know, return that download info object. So next thing I need to do is I need to look at that object. I need to say, all right, well, if it's not null, then you know, we obviously have something there. So we just need to increment the number of downloads in that uh, array list um, called the download list. Otherwise, we need to add it in. OK, so um, let me go ahead and do that. So if song is not equal to null, right, what do we do? Well, I recall from download info, there's this uh, increment times downloaded, which just adds one to the number of times it's been downloaded. So I can just run this method and it'll just take care of that for it. Okay, so we just do song and then increment times downloaded. We just run that method and then it will automatically you know, increment it by one. So that's if you know, it happens to be in there. If it's not null, then it's in there. However, if we do get a null back, that tells us that that particular object does not exist within the array list downloads list. So it means we have to, to add it in, right? So we've got to put that in. Um, so what I need to do is create a new download info object you know, with this name and then the next thing I got to do is just you know add it into that array list. It doesn't really matter about the order. Okay so we do else and meeting this up a bit. So let me create a new download info object. So download info I guess I could call it tune and then I say okay new download Info and then you know obviously we need to put something in there for the constructor and I recall that it does take in a title so I just need to put the name in there so just do name right so that creates our new download info object based on that particular name so now that I have the download info object the next step is I have to add it into that array list called download list. So pretty easy to do, just do download list.add. I'll just add the tune in there. So it'll go in, it'll, you know, every time you have a new um, song that you want to put in there, it'll just go in at the end. And I think the, the question does specify that. It says, you know, any um, new objects that just go in at the end. <clears throat> okay, so now that the code is done, let's go ahead and compile and run. We'll see if uh, this works out. So let me click do this. Okay, so I think I recall the question, you know, this is what we had before, hey Jude, Soul Sister, Aqualung, and then afterwards, you know, we have this, Soul Sister gets incremented by two, Aqualung incremented by one, and we get lights 
uh, which is now two, and then go now gets one. So I, I recall that this is similar to what we had. Um, let me just go back to the question and compare. Yeah, I mean, you can see on your own, it matches up. Okay, but there's one more step in the sense that I do have a JUnit test bench. So let me just run that and see if I get all green checks. And yes, I do. So we have all green checks, all 10 tests passed. So that tells me that my code is correct. Okay, so that is the conclusion of the 2013 question one, and it is complete.